Hey guys, I'm gonna open up a 4K Elgin monitor. With display port. It's gonna support 4K, so it's gonna be display 1.2, I guess. And one HDMI cable, too. That's very impressive. This got an HDMI 2.0 cable then, because these are not that cheap at the moment. Which no one wants to. It still come with a CD. Who's gonna have? Does anyone have CD readers, writers, card cable here? I'll stand here. Stand looks nice. But the thing is, I'm not gonna use the stand. I mean, I can plug in here and show you guys, but that's not my goal. I have my. I have my arm. Let's get the arm. There we go. I also got this from Amazon Germany. And it looks pretty strong. So 27 inches it says. 17 to 27 inches. But I don't think it's a hard limit. It can hold up to 6.5 6 kilograms. VESA mount 75 by 75 millimeters or up to 100 by 100. How do I open this? Follow the instructions. Yes. So that's another monitor I have. That's the TV that I use as a monitor. are the same. Oh, okay. Whoa, it holds the weight. Crazy. Okay, look, look at this. If it's... I can move like this. Okay, I can lower it. I can tighten the screws too. Adjusting the tilt angle. Cool. So I have three monitors now. One from here, the laptop, 20, which is 15.6 inch, 27 inch 4K display. Another 4K display over there, which is 43 inch TV. I'm gonna put this together and then show you guys a better picture. Yeah, so after adjusting some hinges here. It looks really sturdy and fine now. Nice. Okay, there you go. Believe it or not, this is the best triple monitor setup I came up with with my with my ideas, crazy ideas. Th 43 inches. That's 27 inches. That's 15.6. Full HD, 4K, 4K. It's got GTX 1070 here, so I mean the Max Q version, but still it's enough to output these three displays. That one's connected to the display board. That's HDMI 2.0. Mm, yeah, I have to do some cable management there, and then, so basically these are the two mounting um, arms that hold them. These are the monitors. Um, that's me. That's me, and that's me. There are three of me there. <laughs> oh yeah, about this monitor. Yeah, this one's pretty good. I mean, I use both LG. Not just because I'm Korean. I think LG makes good um, displays. Mm. Oh, that's monitor off. Monitor turned on. Yeah, I don't do much about this 4K monitor. 
uh, can adjust from brightness stuff. By the way, this is 4K 60 Hz. It's the maximum refresh that I can output. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Can I choose also sound? Although it's not going to be good. Um, reset. Yes. Give me the default settings. Display board. What the hell is game mode? There's something wrong with my either with my laptop or HDMI, some stuff. It's like sound is not coming out of these monitors. But I'm gonna get like a sound bar over there, anyways. Yeah, and then I'm gonna this is clap couch, what's that in English? Folding uh, couch. So that I can enjoy playing game or movies there. So there are some settings I can adjust here. Game mode. Well, here, like, you know, because the game is high response rate, we can adjust those stuff, I guess. But I don't really play games, so it doesn't matter. And um, what else can I change? Monitor off. No. Input. It gets display port automatically. Nope, not HDMI. Get display port. Great. Menu brightness. I will just use the, um, the. Does it reset actually if I adjust brightness to to like eighty seven or something? And then OK. And if I reset it, and then it goes back to the original settings that I set, the default settings 173. I'll just go with that. Okay, yeah, input, display port, ratio, wide, original. What do you mean by original? Original is wide. Because it outputs 16 to 9 anyways. Picture custom mode. Oh, this is where the gameplay thing happens. The game settings. I'll just use custom picture adjust. Super resolution. What the hell is that? I don't want to deal with this, all the settings here. Sharpness, DFC. Game adjust, color adjust. I don't want to deal with those stuff. I'll just go with um, smart energy saving. Um, I don't want to know. Display at 1.2. Yeah. Why still lag? What the hell? I will just use default, default settings. So if you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.